We all know Stephen King is my favorite author, and today I figured that I would put him to his own test by doing Old King versus New King. It's a lot of comparisons, and today I'm going to be doing short stories. Let's get started. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Zach with Zach's Books, and today I've got for you a kind of like Stephen King comparison test from Old King to New King. Now obviously I've read some new Stephen King, I've read some old Stephen King, but I, this is the first time I'm actually going to be doing like a vlog version of it to where I'm actually comparing two things together. So for this edition I'm going to be doing short story collections. I unfortunately already read If It Bleeds so I can't really use that one as a newer one. So I decided to go with the next newest one that he did, Full Dark, No Stars. So this has got four stories in it. 1922, Fair Extension, Big Driver, and A Good Marriage. So I'm going to read in these four, and I'm going to compare them to an older short story collection, Different Seasons. So this was his second kind of collection he did. Night Shift was the first one. I have not read that one yet. But this has got four stories in it. It has got the shot, Rita Hayworth and the Shawshank Redemption, Apt Pupil, The Body, and The Breathing Method. And today I'm going to be doing a vlog on comparing the older versus the newer, and I'm going to let you guys know what I think about it. So let's get started. All right, the first book I'm doing is Different Seasons, which is four short stories by Stephen King. And the first story is Rita Hayworth and the Shawshank Redemption. So let's get that started. I'm on page 37 and it's been really good. I really have liked it so far. I'm picturing all the characters from the movie in the book. So Andy so far has made a deal with one of the guards about uh, the IRS and giving his wife like a $35,000 loan and so that way they can keep all the money because if he doesn't then they're gonna like tax him and he's gonna lose like all of it and so they're cleaning the roof right now they're re like patching it up they're putting a new coat on it and so him and uh, Red are up there uh, Red if you've seen the movie that's Morgan Freeman's character and so it's been really good so far uh, it, uh, it's definitely a lot more fast paced than the movie obviously the movie's like two hours long and the book is just a short story. There's only like a hundred pages in this. And so them already being on the roof scene is kind of cool. And so I'm excited to see the rest of this goes. I really enjoy the book so far. And I can't wait to finish it. All right, so I just got two packages from Amazon and my parents just dropped off a book. We just saw them not that long ago and they just left. So, I got some book mail for you. We'll start off with Amazon. Okay. Ooh, we've got, how do you pronounce this? Thomas Old Hilvelt? I'm sorry if I just botched your name, but we got Hex. And Stephen King is one of the people there. Totally, brilliantly original. So that's pretty exciting. I don't know a whole lot about this, so that's going to be fun. Boop, boop. So my wife ordered these for me, and that's pretty exciting. And I'm going to see what she thinks I'm going to enjoy. Yeah, so that's also why I don't really quite know what these are going to be. Uh, we got Mongrels by Stephen Graham Jones. It's got a weird looking maybe wolf on it. It's got, yeah, it's got a pretty cool looking cover. I like that. I don't have many yellow books, so... Woo! And last in this one is The Ruins by Scott Smith. I hear good things about this. Another one I don't know a whole lot about. We'll see if the wifey knows my taste in horror and books after being with me for this long and enduring my books. 
she watched a few like horror recommendation videos from some people and so that's where she kind of got the inspiration to get these books and so oh no hey look at that what's in bag number two we have the devil all the time by donald ray Pollock. i don't know i, I don't know what i don't know about i haven't heard about this one Anchor Books, that's who did a bunch of the Stephen King. Look at these a look. Um, I think she said she's got a few more on the way, but uh, these are the first four. You said you um, are filming a haul soon, too, so these will be. In yeah, the these will be on the haul. I'll be able to read the synopsis on them and uh, let you know what you know what they're about. And last but not least is the one my parents got me. Um, they came over and they're like, happy early birthday. And I'm like, oh, my birthday's not till November. So, um, no idea what it is. And here we go. It's in a bag. Ooh, right. bubble wrap. Right. I'm excited to see what it is. <laughs> it's a book, folks. I'm going to see what it is, though. Ladies and gents, we have got the original Gunslinger cover. Oh my god. Yes, happy birthday to moi. Oh my goodness. Three months early. <laughs> yeah, seriously, three months early. The original hardcover of the Dark Tower, the Gunslinger. I am now only missing Wastelands. It's still a touchy subject. I'm upset with eBay. Um, but anyway, those were the books I just got today. We're going to have a bigger haul video later on, but oh my God. wow, this is exciting. This is probably one of the coolest looking covers I've seen before. If I ever did see. All right, well, next update is going to be on apt pupil, so let's go. All right, so I'm on page 210. I'm a little over halfway with apt pupil. Uh, I kind of forgot I was doing this as a vlog, and so I just couldn't, I didn't stop. So I just kind of kept going, so sorry about that. So, so far it's been about a boy who befriends this, like, old Nazi, and I can't even pronounce his last name, it's just so weird. Dosander? I think that's what it is. Kid's name is Todd. And so they become friends, and then the kid kind of starts, like, not doing well in school, and then do Sanders like, sit, like I, I, he's like telling him stories, and so it's kind of making the kid like not really interested in school, and so his grades start going bad, and then like for some reason he starts like getting like this killer instinct, so he like he, he just recently just killed a homeless guy for like no reason, and. Doe Sander um, killed a cat earlier by putting him putting the cat in his oven and has been going to like dog shelters like wanting to get dogs for probably the same purpose so I feel like this kid just like woke up his old like World War II Nazi like aspect in his head and so now he's like trying to like kill things and I feel like the old man's like ability like rubbed off on Todd so now Todd's like kind of doing that kind of stuff too it's like it's been really weird um like I said I didn't know a whole lot going into it I kind of I, I knew it was about like a German guy so so far it's been good and um yeah and we'll catch you in the next clip all right guys so I just finished out pupil I am two stories in and I've got about this much left to go. I've got the body and the breathing method left at pupil. It's a pretty good story. Kind of got lost towards a, a little bit towards like the midway ending portion. Um, but then it picked back up and I was able to get back into it. So it was a good book. I would give at pupil probably just three and a half stars just because it was just it, it was it was just weird. Um, a lot of people like apt people. I I'm kind of torn. I mean, it's a weird, eerie story, and like just like kind of like the two thirds, the three quarter portion of the book, I just kind of got lost. I'll say. So 
I'd give it three and a half stars. So, so far, this has got an average of about 4.25 stars, with the Shawshank Redemption being a five, App Pupil being three and a half. And so that'll leave us with the body and the breathing method. So, next clip, you'll be hearing me talk about the body. All right, so I'm on page 373, which is about halfway through the body and it's been really good. I've really liked it so far. Um, you could definitely see like the bondage of friendship between the four boys and I think that's pretty cool. I mean not much else to really say. I mean they're going to go see a body and uh, it's pretty exciting and I want to see how they play it off. So, All right so story number three is done. I just finished the body and it was it was another really good short story. Five stars right off the bat. Uh, so, so far different seasons have been going pretty well. Um, I'm on to the last one which is the breathing method which like I said before not a lot of people really talk about this one in this book because the other three are just so good. Uh, so I'm hoping that I can enjoy it too and this book will overall get pretty much a four and a half star rating. But yeah, otherwise I liked how the body ended. Uh, stayed true to Stand By Me which is the movie and I, I really liked it. So next clip I'll be part way through the breathing method and I'll let you know how I'm enjoying that one. Alright guys, so I just finished the last story, The Breathing Method, and it was a really weird story, but it was really good. Uh, I didn't have any like cuts in between because it was kind of a shorter read than the other three were. Uh, I really liked it. It was kind of odd, but that's Stephen King for you. Overall, I'm going to give this about four, 4.25, four and a half stars. My least favorite was actually Apt Pupil. I don't, I don't see the hype with that one. I uh, just, it wasn't as good as the other ones. I actually thought Breathing Method was better, in my opinion. Uh, at People, it was still good, but just in comparison to the other four in this collection, I'd say Shawshank, The Body, Breathing Method, and then At People. That would be my list of the top ones in this book in that order. Otherwise, this is a really good read, and I really recommend this book. So yeah, that was Different Seasons. And next up is going to be Full Dark, No Stars. And again, this one has got four stories in it. 1922, Big Driver, Fair Extension, and A Good Marriage. So we'll see how this one goes. It's a little bit shorter than that one was. And I'll see you guys in the next clip. Alright guys, I'm on 249. I just finished the second story. Uh, Big Driver is pretty... It's a pretty gripping story, and I really liked it. Um, I would say 1922 was better, but Big Driver was still a good book. Um, I'd give it three and a half. Um, it wasn't as typical, like, supernatural type of thing. It was just kind of like a story like survival, and, you know, she, uh, I feel like she definitely got the revenge she wanted, and so I liked it. Um, on to book number three, which is Fair Extension. 
and we'll see you guys in the next clip. Alright, so I just finished the third story, Fair Extension. It was, it was pretty weird. Uh, this guy um, stumbles across this uh, weird like umbrella tent person at like a on a street and he pretty much tells them you know I give out extensions you know like a loan extension uh, it just extensions of anything hair extensions eyelash extensions he's gone along the limbs of doing uh, an eye extension for a pilot to pass something and so he's telling this guy who's got cancer he's like you know I can give you a life extension you know I can get rid of the cancer but you know you gotta something's gotta be done for me I'll say so it's got it like the bad mojo has to go somewhere and so he asked him, who do you hate? And he's like, well, my old friend from school has got all this nice stuff and this and that. And you're kind of thinking, okay, guy's going to get cancer. But then, you know, it kind of sways in a completely different direction. And a whole bunch of stuff just starts happening to his friend. And I thought it was pretty cool. Um, obviously, I would never wish that upon friends of mine. But, I mean, I'll, I'd give that another three and a half. Uh, it was a good one. Uh, next up is a good marriage and I'll see you guys in the next clip all right I'm on page 332 for a good marriage and so she pretty much discovered a box that her husband's had hiding for many many years and apparently he like takes these women and I think like murders them tortures them he does some weird like bondage type of thing it's a it's weird and so what just happened is he explained the story to her about like his childhood friend and like they had this plan to like hold up the school and like they were gonna like I wouldn't say like rape these girls that were like snoods to them and it fell apart because the well, when his friend died but the idea stayed alive with him and so He's been doing it for all these years and he just confessed to his wife and she pretty much is just gonna I think go along with it and just be like yeah just stop doing it which I think is a little weird but I mean, we'll see how it plays out I still got a fair amount of pages left so we'll see how a good marriage ends so far it's been uh, it's been all right all right so I finished the last story a good marriage uh, it was pretty good. I really liked it, actually. Um, it was, I mean, she kind of got her redemption in the book with her husband being like a, a murderer. And she kind of got some revenge for the people that uh, he killed. And I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I'd give that story probably another three and a half stars. So, overall, I'd say Full Dark No Stars. 1922 is probably the best story I didn't really hate any of the stories in this. Yeah, I mean, all of them were, were fairly decent. I actually didn't, I didn't have one I didn't not enjoy in this. So, overall, I'd probably say this is about three and a half stars, I would say. So, uh, I also did different seasons, like I said, and this video was a comparison of an older collection of short stories and a newer collection of short stories. Obviously there are tons more of older ones and newer ones. So in comparison with these two, I'm going to say the older ones were better in this case. Different Seasons was better than Full Dark No Stars. Uh, both of them were really good. All eight stories were pretty good. I don't think I rated anything lower than three and a half stars. I don't believe so. Different Seasons had a lot of good ones. That had two five stars in it. So both of them were good. I just think Different Seasons was far superior than this one. Uh, obviously there's more to do. Um, I'll probably do another video kind of like this. Uh, I did If It Bleeds. I already read that so I didn't do that for this video. This is the other more recent one, Full Dark No Stars. So I did this one instead. But yeah, uh, let me know what you think down in the comments down below. Um, you know, what short story collection was your favorite out of these two? Did you prefer Full Dark No Stars? Did you prefer Different Seasons? Uh, I would pick Different Seasons.
it was just better in my opinion. Um, so don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.